It's like an orchestra playing a symphony. There are a lot of players there and they should work in harmony. The title of my lecture is Pitfalls and Complications of Sinus Grafting. And this is a often neglected issue in the, in the last time. And I wanted to emphasize the importance of the preoperative assessment of our, of our patients. We should be prepared and the patient should be prepared for this delicate and fragile surgery. So the highlights of my lecture were preoperative assessment, it means anatomical and pathological findings, and how should we deal with in the presence of these alterations or findings. And the next part was about complications, intraoperative complications and postoperative complications, and the conclusion, how should we minimize the complications rate consequent to sinus augmentation. My lecture includes just the preoperative pitfalls and the intra- and post-operative complications. And not of all, because if I want to talk about all the complications that could be associated to this kind of surgery, so I need days after days to talk about this issue. So I choose to talk about three key kinds, potential, three key kinds of potential complications, brain perforation, bleeding, and infections. And I think we should, in the near future, divide the presentation and concentrate on every issue because there is a lot to say about the infections consequent to sinus augmentation. It's like an orchestra playing a symphony. There are a lot of players there and they should work in harmony. You imagine if, a, if one player is not working in harmony with the whole orchestra, so it will be a catastrophe. Therefore, it's the same thing in performing sinus augmentation. All the players, all the elements, the anatomical, the pathological, the, the, uh, the existing uh, abnormalities, treatment approaches, all of this should play together in order to attempt successful augmentation with excellent outcome.